Hey guys, um, I don't know if this is actually going to like go up or be part of a video, but I just thought I'd document it because things are just interesting. So um, today is March 18th. If you're seeing this, you're probably seeing it like on the 19th or later in the week sometime. But basically yesterday was my birthday, March 17th. Um, we just sat around the house all day. Didn't do anything special or fancy. Not that I need anything special on my birthday. But at about 4 o'clock, the governor of Kansas did um, cancel school for the remainder of the school year. Along with all graduations. Um, and it's across the board through our entire state. If you don't know, my husband and I are both teachers. So this is like a big, big, big thing um, in our lives. It's like totally changed everything. We're both coaches as well. So um, Russell's already done with his season, but this affects softball season um, hugely, which is what I coach. I don't know. It was just the weirdest um the weirdest day yesterday to all of a sudden just have everything end um, when it comes to school and that whole situation. With that being said, because things have escalated so quickly from like day to day, at first it was like, okay, we're on spring break. Um, some places were shutting down, but then all of a sudden we got shut down for two weeks um, for our county and then the state shut down and then um, they have all these guidelines about what to do, blah, blah, blah. Everybody came back from spring break. So they started telling people, this is what you need to do if you went to these places and yada, yada, yada. And then all of a sudden, bam, schools shut down for the year. Now this is in-person school. Um, we're eventually going to go to some type of e-learning, but we don't even know what that looks like yet. I'm sure that all the districts are working um, really hard to be able to figure out a plan of what to do and how they're going to do it, but just like not knowing what's going on and not knowing, you know, what is going to happen in the next couple weeks and what other changes might happen is, is a little bit nerve wracking. The other thing on top of this that is really what is bothering me the most is that I'm pregnant and I'm supposed to have a baby at the end of May and to kind of go into this little season of life for everybody this is this is affecting everybody just knowing that there are there there's so much unknown in this situation is scary like I don't know I, I've seen a lot of con controversial things saying that you know pregnant women are fine even if they get the virus. I've seen some other things that say pregnant women are at higher risk. I do know that for myself, um, you know, I do get sick a little more easily when I'm pregnant and that sort of thing. It's a little bit scary and, you know, in my case, I would rather overreact than underreact and just be safe. Um, not to say that I'm panicking or freaking out or anything like that. But I do think that it's important to just be prepared. So um, I did a, you know, I, I, we went and got like two weeks worth of groceries at, at, on Friday. So we're pretty stocked on like regular groceries. I tried to do an online order um, through Walmart and it just kept kicking all the things out of my cart as if they didn't have it or whatever. And I understand like they don't know what they're going to have by the time their worker gets out there. And I didn't mean to say worker, I mean employee. Um, by the time the employee gets out there to like get, gather the things for my order. And so I couldn't like keep anything in my cart and it was so frustrating and I was going to send Russell, but I just thought I'm going to come and be really careful about, you know, being around anybody and just making sure I'm not touching anything or touching my face or anything. Um, I just want to make sure that we have like some non-perishable food items, um, besides what we already have. I just want a little bit more. I also want to get some diapers and wipes if I can um, because Jay is not potty trained yet. Hopefully during this time he can get potty trained, but just in case. And then um, I'm also going to just go ahead and get some diapers for the new baby just to be safe. I just want to be prepared to like just be stuck in our house for a month um, and still be able to like get by and not be insanely uncomfortable and, and have to worry about my kids and all that kind of stuff.
if it does look crazy in here, like if there are a bunch of empty shelves and stuff, I'll, I'll definitely show you. Okay, so I was at the store for way longer than I thought I would be. I think mainly just because I was looking for things to get. But um, I, I'll enter some clips here of some of the aisles. The aisles were like crazily empty. Not just like the toilet paper aisle and the cleaner aisle, but like there was hardly any cereal. There was not, I mean, there were some varieties of meats, um, frozen fruits and frozen veggies. There were limited like items. Um, luckily I got a bunch of broccoli and stuff. I'll show you what I got when I get home. Um, everything I got. I got some things just like for the next week um, that are like perishable things that we need to restock on. And then um, I got a bunch of just stuff I'm going to put in a box for a just in case. Um, just in case we like go on some kind of lockdown or whatever. So it was very weird. Um, I have never seen the grocery aisles in Walmart look so empty. There was no peanut butter. I got Nutella. We, we Luckily we have peanut butter at home, um, but I got Nutella instead just to have something. Um, there was bread, but most of the breads were out. Oh, it was crazy. This was so crazy. But I did get strawberries and bananas. They were in full stock, strawberries and bananas were. So nobody is stocking up on those things. <laughs> You'll see in a clip that there was no wipes in the regular wipe section, like over by the baby stuff. But um, in the like personal care area where you can get flushable wipes right across from that, they had the Equate brand. So it's not like the Parent Choice brand. Equate makes baby wipes. And I don't think a lot of people know that they're over there because there were actually um, some in stock. So if you're looking for baby wipes, check over in the personal care section like by the pads and stuff like that and then I thought if we just ran out of wipes we have little um, washcloths that we can use and clean I guess anyway I'll show you what I got when I get home I got here um, from some of this stuff is like restock stuff just things that we need for the next week and then the other stuff is just stuff we're going to put away to save um, just in case so I got some one diapers for the new baby. I've got size six diapers down here for Jay. And then these are the wipes that I was talking about. Couldn't find any other wipes besides these. And again, these were in like the personal care section. I did get a couple little hand soaps, two of them. I got some um, Tylenol for the kids. Just I just thought I'd get some just in case they were to get sick during this time. I don't know why I got this big thing of Rice Krispie Treats. They'll be good for a long time. So um, it's just something we can store away. Got granola bars, some just maple brown sugar, oatmeal. I couldn't get any like just regular oats. So that's, that's the best thing I can find. Pretzel sticks, something again that will just stay a while. I did get a few. A few little protein bars. Got, I couldn't find peanut butter at all. So I just got these two things of peanuts. And then if you look over here, this is, I already talked about, I got the Nutella. Just as something we could put on bread. Um, and then I got three things of this chili with beans. This is all just canned stuff that we can save. Um, got about four things of double noodle. The soup was pretty empty, but I did happen to find some. Um, so I got two things of cream of chicken and then some two things of tomato soup. So that's just all stuff that we can store. The applesauce, I'm planning on storing it for now because we have enough for the next couple weeks, hopefully. I did get this big thing of animal crackers just for the kids. That'll be put away. The strawberry fruit spread, that's for peanut butter and jelly right now because we're out. They didn't have hardly any like regular squeezable jelly or anything. It was all canned stuff, or canned, uh, all glass jar stuff. Ketchup, because we needed ketchup. Eggs, we don't really need eggs yet, but there was hardly any eggs, so I got this two pack um, of their 18. But I got this two pack. 
So that's kind of a restock, but kind of something that we can just have in the fridge. Um, two things of almond milk, because we use quite a bit of it. Um, I just went, I was only gonna get one, but I went ahead and got two just in case. This gogurt for the kids, and I, we can freeze that too. And then I got bananas as a restock and strawberries just for the next week. And then I went ahead and got these peanut butter, a big thing of peanut butter crackers to store just in case. Some snack sticks just in case. And then we already have a bunch of frozen broccoli, but I just got more. I thought if worse comes to worse, um, we already have rice. Um, and as long as we can keep broccoli frozen, then we have a ton. And then um, the vegetable aisle or the frozen vegetable aisle was pretty empty when it came to like the regular, like what people, you know, peas and corn and stuff like that. There wasn't much of it, but I like broccoli. So got a lot of that. And then I just saw two things of carrots. So I grabbed them. The mixed fruit was pretty empty. There was um, big bags of strawberries, but I already have some strawberries. Um, this is the only thing that I could find out of stuff that I usually buy. So that's just extra to store in the freezer for just in case. I got some um, protein waffle pancake mix. This is just to have for the next couple weeks because I ran out. And then I got LaCroix just as kind of a special drink to have. And then um, I do use these Mio Sport electrolyte things in my water just to have like a little bit of flavor to get me to drink a little bit more water. Sometimes Mara likes to have these too. But basically that's everything that I got. I spent, I believe 189 or 190 on all of this. So some of it's like restock stuff. The other stuff is extra. Um, not sure how I'm gonna actually budget this, but we'll see. Oh. The other thing I got, I got Reese's eggs because I'm pregnant and they're really, really good. I didn't close out the video earlier, so I guess I'll do it now. I guess this video is going to go up. We went ahead and put away the stuff that um, is going like in the freezer and in the fridge and the stuff that was like restock. And then I'm gonna put all of the other items in a box and just put them in the basement for just in case. And we'll be, at least a little tiny bit prepared in case we are to go into some sort of lockdown. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and then don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.